Hello and welcome to the session. My name is Mansi and I'm going to help you with the following question. The question says by sectors of angles A, B and C of a triangle A, B, C intersect its circumcircle at D, E and F respectively. Prove that the angles of the triangle D, E, F are 90 degree minus half of A, 90 degree minus half of B and 90 degree minus half of C. Now, from the interpretation of the question, we have this figure. Now, here we see that A, D, B, E and C, F, they are the bisectors of angle A, angle B and angle C respectively. Now, we have to show here that angles of triangle D, E, F, that means this triangle, they are 90 degree minus half of A, 90 degree minus half of B, and 90 degree minus half of C. So let us see the solution to this question. First of all, we say that angle D is same as angle EDA plus angle ADF. That is angle EDA plus angle ADF. Now, this is equal to angle EBA a plus angle FCA. Now we see that we have angle EDA is equal to angle EBA and angle ADF is equal to angle FCA because they are angles in the same segment and we know that angles in the same segment of a circle, they are equal to each other. So we have angle EDA, that means this angle is equal to angle EBA, that is this angle. And angle ADF, that is this angle, is equal to angle FCA, that means this angle. So we can write it as angle D becomes equal to half of angle B plus half of angle C. This happens because EB is the angle bisector of angle B and FC is the angle bisector of angle C. This is equal to angle B plus angle C divided by 2. Now, similarly, we can say that angle E is equal to angle C plus angle A divided by 2 and Angle F is equal to angle A plus angle B divided by 2. This implies that angle D is equal to 180 degree minus angle A by 2. Angle E is equal to 180 degree minus angle B by 2. And angle F is equal to 180 degree minus angle C by 2. Now this happens because we know that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree because we know that sum of three angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degree. Now we had earlier that angle D was equal to angle B plus angle C by 2. Angle B plus angle C we can write as 180 degree minus angle A by 2. So we have this. Similarly, we have angle E and we have angle F. This implies angle D can be written as 180 degree divided by 2 is 90 degree minus angle A by 2. So it is 90 degree minus angle A by 2. Angle E is equal to 90 degree minus angle B by 2. And angle F is equal to 90 degree minus angle C by 2. So this implies the angles of the triangle DEF are 90 degree minus half of A, 90 degree minus half of B and 90 degree minus half of C. So this was what we were supposed to prove in this question. I hope that you understood the question and enjoyed the session. Have a good day.